Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we're going all in for Georgid the Breaker. I do have um, probably a good chunk of shards that have been purchased as well as been found along the way. We've got Georgid on this 10 times chance to gain uh, this legendary. These 10 times chance champions honestly are pretty nuts. Doesn't mean you should pull shards. I'm pulling shards for a specific champion on my account that I don't have. I'm not pulling shards for the others. I do have these champions already, but actually in the world of raid that we live now, gaining plus one, plus two, plus three, all of that makes quite a difference to these champions. So I'm sure some Krakens out there are pulling almost like all the shards that they've got to like double up, triple up, quad up these big champions. The reason why I'm going all in is because I'm really enjoying Live Arena and Georgia would make quite a difference to my offensive options. So I'm going to try and pick him up today. Um, I'm not deciding that the Path of Spring is a good enough event for me to decide to pull hundreds of Void Shards. I think the Path of Spring is an okay event. I think this price here is pretty ludicrous for most people to even consider. But if you're just like an, an average Joe and you've got some shards you're going to pull, you'd probably be considering more about the legendary tomes than you would about the soul. Anyway, I, told, I spoke about that yesterday. So let's do this shard pull. 217 void shards. The crazy thing here is with a 0.5% chance to gain a legendary from a shard, I should see one legendary. <laughs> That's it. 217, I should see one. I'm hoping it's going to be Georgid. But obviously, there's a ton of other legendaries in the pool. There is a 10 times chance for Void Champions. The 10 times does still make a big enough difference to have an impact. Doesn't mean it's going to pop out the other end. So wish me luck. We're going all in. And um, yeah, I mean, hopefully we pick up something cool along the way. There's not really anything in, certainly not rares, or Void Epics that will make a difference on this account. Yeah. It's why um, on the free-to-play, shard pools are more exciting nowadays because on the main, unless I see gold, I don't really care. Double Umbra, so in the first 10, is kind of nuts. But yeah, we're looking for gold. And Void, in a, especially, is what would impact my main account more than anything. Like, if Taras happens to pop out, then I would be extremely pleased with that. Same with um, Marishka. I mean, I just got four Void Epics in normal rate pulls. It's unheard of, by the way. That's like a crazy temple again. So um, maybe luck is kind of like oozing in on me today. We're, we're feeling it. I would love a Georgie. He just, he does so much in the current arena meta, ignoring that stone skin, ignoring all sorts of shields, shenanigans. Like he is crazy. He's really what a Void Legendary Nuka should be for the arena. He brings so much to counter what's going on in the game right now. I think over time, the kind of model of Georgid is probably what we're going to see from other Void Legendaries. You know, that, that the ability to counter the meta. That's what you kind of need. And you know, unfortunately, some champions that are Void, just, or even like normal Legendaries, they don't even get close to being able to do enough work against this meta. Loads of rares. Okay, the luck's coming back. We're getting a bunch of Easter egg rewards along the way. I mean, you're probably sitting there thinking 200. It's an obscene amount, and it kind of is. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that is Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We need something big. Just trying to think who else would be, like, an absolute crazy pull for me a second acrisia would also be a crazy pull i do not have a yumiko who would be a crazy pull as well so there's still a few and obviously taras and marishka there's, there's still quite a few champions in void legendaries that would be big for the account i care much more about void shards nowadays than any other form of shard for sure but this is the problem it's such a low chance to get anything you're just kind of sitting here thinking, please drop something out the other end. If you do see those screenshots with like two or three even void legendaries in a single temple, this video will just help you realize that's not the norm. 
Okay, this is what normally happens if you go out and buy yourself a couple of packs of void shards. A whole bunch of trash in the search. Come on. Not much going on so far. Will we even hit gold? It's possible we don't even hit gold in 217. Very unlikely, but it's possible. I would be knee deep into mercy if that was the case. All rares. Shocking. Come on. Clear him. Improve your rates. Give people a chance. Up to times 10 to like times 20 as well. Why are you doing it? At least added so many champions to your game you haven't changed any of the mechanics around shard events Flarium. harrier that's about 12th harrier that's about the 60th ifrit we've had so far where's the gold where is the gold can we unleash a georgid on that live arena come on comment below by the way have you pulled what did you get? Anything good? Anything which is going to help your account? I wish you all the best if you do. I wish you better luck than we're seeing so far. I've had a few Stole Crowns. Stole Crown is still a good epic for like that mid game towards end game arena. Unfortunately, she used to be able to compete really in arena generally, but nowadays the legendaries are just kind of like so much stronger. Another Stole Crown. Shrank, really good champion as well. Quite a lot of epics to be fair probably more epics than we we should have got but no gold ifrit tell us who is it gonna be keep coming in i've seen you enough oh come on i don't know what we've done here but it's a lot painsmith's quite a nuke here we go what we got it's a net crit the gray Ooh. Oh, I mean, one of the best arena champions in the game. He's, he is the absolute protector of your champions. Yeah, he protects anybody in the game. You can bring out your nukas and he will stop them from dying. That's, a, that's how good he is. I do use one. I've got a second one already. That's actually my third net crit on this account. I don't use the second one, but I should do really. I probably should use him in 3v3 arena it would make my 3v3 teams a lot better but a plus two net crit does sound kind of interesting uh, in terms of the stat boost because the thing with a net crit is is all about his stats which protects your the rest of your team so plus two is kind of interesting i don't know comment below is that crazy no georgia though now makes me feel like georgia's unlikely because we've got one legendary already we've already hit the legendary and now the chance of hitting another one is pretty damn low. Gembo, another good nuka here. Seer, the absolute best wave clearer in the game by far. By far, even including Taras nowadays. Ah, Necret. If only it was Taras or Yumiko or Rishka. Oh. It's, it feels good and feels bad, honestly, that one. I think... Krakens are probably like, I want dupes, I want dupes. Whereas I'm still looking for those champions I don't yet have. Seven to go. Seven to go. Is net crit all we're picking up? Probably is. Another Bellower. Oh, man. Feels like Georgid is not coming out. Is he? Are we going to get a clutch, Georgid? Come on. Go on, Raid. Please. Four more. Hang on. Come on. Hit me with some gold. Last two. Blue. Last one. Paragon cheesed. Last one. Ah, oh, man. No Georgia for me. There you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. Have a good weekend. I'll see you later.